Use today's steamy hot lick as a great alternate picking warm up or as a cool phrase to toss into your soloing. I don't care. It's your world. Hey kids, it's your good buddy, Uncle Ben. A couple months ago here on my channel, I had a video titled, I ditched my old workouts for this, in which I introduced you guys to one of my favorite new phrasing concepts. You remember the one. That bad Larry has stayed in my vocabulary and become a daily habit for me, and it started creeping into my soloing with phrases like the one that we're gonna talk about today. This is a great example of how you can take something that began as an exercise and turn it into something musical that you can actually use in your soloing. It's also a really great way to warm up your alternate picking or economy picking chops. We'll talk about both of those later on in the video. As always, this video is brought to you guys by everybody who supports my channel over on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash benellerguitars. Sign up today for all kinds of awesome stuff like downloadable tabs, backing tracks, bonus lessons, and so much more. This week, everybody who supports my channel, even at that buck a month level, is gonna get the downloadable tabs as well as the guitar profile that I made to go along with this and the practice tracks that I made at a variety of different tempos. That way you can make your own perfect practice session. All of my supporters are also gonna get a very special exclusive bonus video to go along with this one, showing you guys how you can take this phrasing concept even further. So don't delay, sign up today. Gear-wise for today's video, I'm playing my beloved Ibanez RG3120 right here. I really think they should reissue this guitar. It's like the best RG ever made. And I'm playing that into the Fractal Audio Axe Effects 3. Yeah, let's hear that lick again at stepdad speed. Okay, so this lick is based around triplets and it's gonna be in the C sharp minor scale, although the harmony changes a few times if you're playing with backing track. And it's using a three note per string pattern that looks something like this. And then at the end of that phrase, we reach up here to the high A note to resolve. So the ascending portion is. And then the descending form looks like this. Now, if you recall the original video that inspired this one from a couple months ago, it's uh, based on this phrase that I came up with that uses two strings. And you're gonna basically walk up, and then on that same string, do what I call a switch back, which is where you walk up, and then go back down to the lowest note as a way to change directions, and keep walking down the next string. So it's like ascend, and then switch back. Ascend, switch back. So this phrase is based on that idea, only instead of putting the switch back on the same string that you just walked up, you're gonna put it on the next string instead. So you're essentially gonna walk up, and put the switch back on the next string. So it turns out like that. Then you carry on the same idea from the string that you've landed on. And so on. So basically where we're gonna start off here is on the A string. We're gonna start off here on the 11th fret. 
and this is where the switchback comes in. Then restart the same idea from the D string 11. Switch back on the B. Then you got your G starting point. Switch back on the E. And then the last phrase, which is gonna go. So just walking straight up, no switch back or anything. That's the ascending portion of the lick. I'm playing with alternate picking, but again, we're, we're gonna talk about the picking here in just a second. You could also economy pick it. Now descending, what we're gonna do is to start off here from the highest note in the pattern, the 16 on the high E string. And it's the same concept. You're gonna walk down two strings. Then on the next string is your switch back, but we're descending, so it's gonna sound like this. You can hear I'll walk down the G, back to the highest note on the G, and then keep walking back up the previous string. So, Same idea here from B, you're gonna walk down two strings, switch back on the D. Walk down the G, switch back on the A. And then the last phrase, you just walk down two strings, and then resolve on A, just like how you did up top. So the descending phrase sounds like this. So now you have it both ways, just the way your mother likes it. So whenever I designed this lick, I had alternate picking in mind and that is how I performed it. Now I like to start the ascending one with a downstroke and just continue with alternate picking throughout like this. <laughs> Whenever I descend, kind of Paul Gilbert style, I like to start with an upstroke instead. I feel like it just kind of puts my pick going in the proper direction, know what I mean? Either way though, this is kind of a challenge because it involves changing strings off of both downstrokes and upstrokes. A lot of my faster licks feature only one kind of string change, like ups only. But this look features changes after both downstrokes and upstrokes, so it's a little bit more of an obstacle course. Be sure that you're kind of flinging the pick out and under the next string with whatever the last pick stroke is. So for example, off the first line here, we do a uh, downstroke string change, right? I'm gonna try to make sure that downstroke gets out and under the D string. That way I'm ready to strike it with the upstroke. If you made a teeny tiny pick stroke, you're nowhere near the D string and it's gonna be a lot more challenging to get there. So be sure to really launch that pick out, whatever the final pick stroke was on that string. Same holds true for the descending one. Like I said, I like to start with an upstroke. Kind of feel like from the get go, it puts my pick going in a comfortable direction since that ends on an up and the string I'm going to next is upwards in direction. Just feels a little bit more natural to me. Your mileage may vary. Uh, but be sure you're also doing those launchers that I mentioned before. Whenever you're changing strings off of that, you wanna be sure that the pick is away from the strings, that we can crash into the next one pretty effortlessly. 
cool thing about this phrase is though, you can also use it to practice your economy picking. Whenever you play it ascending, you're gonna be working your down to down economy picking. And when you play it descending, you're gonna be working your up to up economy picking. Here's how. You could also think about this as like downward pick slanting on the way up, upward pick slanting on the way down. It's one of the best ways to sort of think about it because it's not gonna be pure economy picking. There's very few pure economy pickers out there, honestly, and very few phrases that work with pure economy picking. Be sure to check out last week's video about alternate versus economy picking. It didn't get near the hits I think it should have. It's got some really good info in there. So be sure to go back and check that one out as well. But if you play this first uh, ascending portion here with your downward pick slanting, it's perfect to work on that down to down economy picking. A great way to think about this is just to start every string with a downstroke. That's what I really want you to focus on. Down, 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 down. Okay, so watch the downstrokes as they slide from string to string. feels slicker than snot on ice, as my old band used to say. And uh, you know, again, you're gonna be doing those up straight string changes or down to down string changes only. Now with the descending version of the lick, you can use this to work your up to up economy picking. Check this out. Watch as the up strokes glide effortlessly from string to string. So you'll notice with that right there, I'm thinking about starting every string on an upstroke. I think that's the easiest way to think about your economy picking. Up, 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 up. You get the idea. And again, it should feel very fluid. Make sure that your upstrokes are really resting on the next string. and not just being uh, used as like consecutive upstrokes. That's not really economy picking. You wanna use the next string to kind of stop the pick, wait on the next note, and push through it. This'll have those downstroke string changes. See right there. So this is like a, an upward pick slanted kind of lick whenever you're descending. So yeah, you can use this to practice both ways. It's really handy to get that economy picking thing down or a great way to improve your alternate picking chops. I'm providing the tab with both alternate picking notation and the economy picking notation over there on the Patreon page. So be sure to snag that and pay close attention to the picking directions. So there you go guys, another sick lick that's bound to get you chicks. Probably not, it'll probably just get other guitar players talking to you at Guitar Center or whatever, but that's still pretty cool if you ask me. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to upload a video of yourself shredding this lick over on the Instagriddles and tag me in it, at Ben Eller Guitars. I'd love to see the progress that you make with this lick. And if you want to get even more out of this video, be sure to get the downloadable tabs, guitar profile, backing tracks, and so much more over there on the Patreon page. I'm also uploading that special exclusive video showing you guys how you can get even more mileage out of this and mix up your phraseology to get some really cool sounds out of it. So be sure to sign up today and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications every time I upload a new slice of fried gold, and tell your mom I said hi. Well guys, it's been fun as always, but I think it's time for me to go do some more shredding. It's time for you guys to get away from the computer, pick up that guitar, and start mashing some rope. Less clicking, more picking.